<coughs> Good morning. Um, in this video, um, I aim to show you why there are uh, so many caravans out there with possible um, water ingress problems, what to do about it, how to fix it, um, and what we did with our caravan to sort out our problems. So um, keep watching. Hi, I'm Darren. I'm Shelley. We've chosen early retirement and a life of freedom, adventure and the unknown. So for the next few years, we're going to be travelling around our beautiful country of New Zealand in our caravan and then at a later stage, some more overseas travel. So subscribe and come along with us as we embark on our next adventure. So my wife and I have got um, a 2018 Bailey Range Finder Nebula, um, which we absolutely love. Um, and we've had many happy holidays in it and trips around New Zealand. Um, <clears throat> so this video is not specifically on the Bailey model caravans, um, as there are several other manufacturers out there with a similar moulding around the bottom, which I'll show you. Um, later on. Um, <clears throat> so we're in a fortunate position um, where we're living here. We, we built um, a fairly large livable shed with two bedroom accommodation on one side and a shed on the other to house the ute and the caravan. And, um, so we're in that position where unless we're away um, tripping around the place the caravan is always um, parked up in the shed so we get home from our trip away give it a, a wash and a clean and then put it away in the shed till we we go away again so up until now um, we've never had uh, any water ingress issues um, but uh, earlier this year uh, I did several months in the kiwi food industry where the caravan was outside all the time while I was staying in it um, and it's just recently um, that I've found some water ingress issues. Now we bought um, several years ago, or probably a couple of years ago, we bought uh, a moisture meter. It's a radio frequency one so it doesn't poke holes or in your caravan. Um, and every few months if we go away or whatever I, I go over the caravan on the floor um, under windows and bits and pieces um, and just check that we don't have any issues um, and up until now it's been absolutely fine um, and then a couple of weeks ago uh, I went over it again and bang I got the alarm going on the moisture meter so yeah that was a bit of a concern um, and so obviously want to track down where the problem's coming from as quickly as we can um, to try and uh, and get it sorted so this is what we found so I checked um, <clears throat> all of the floor um, like I normally do um, however in the back tunnel boot look, in, the, in the Bailey range finder there's a tunnel boot uh, in the rear and the front of the caravan that goes right the way through um, in the tunnel boot in the back of the caravan just on one corner the alarms were going off on the moisture meter um, so I checked the other corner um, in the back absolutely fine checked all the way through the boot absolutely fine the front boot was the same no issues there at all it was purely in one corner on the back um, and so obviously um, there was a problem right in that corner of the caravan and we needed to find out what was going on. So I'll take you out to the shed um, and show you the caravan and um, yeah show you where we found the problems. As always um, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so um, and give it a thumbs up and share the video. It just helps us um, get our channel promoted and spurs us along to uh, make more videos.
Right, so there's our Bailey Rangefinder Nebula, all tucked away in the shed and nicely washed and tidy. <laughs> um, now I'm part of, um, <coughs> so I'm part of uh, a Facebook group which covers um, Bailey New Zealand and Bailey Australia. Um, and there has been several people on there over the years talking about rotting floors and um, and issues that they've had and it's it's always been in my mind hell you know um, we need to keep an eye on things so that was why we bought the moisture meter um, initially just so that we could yeah keep a really good eye on things um, and I'm so glad we did <laughs> otherwise you'd never know because the water ingress is below the lino in the caravan it's not it's not on top of the lino where you'd physically see water problems um it's below the lino so um it, it just sort of sits there rotting away your floor without you realizing it um until you know you've got a big uh, like a really major problem so um yeah so um, I'd also like to just say that this is not a, a Bailey specific problem. Um, I've looked at several other manufacturers that have also had the same issues. Um, I've heard of people spending $300,000 on a motorhome and having major problems. I've talked to people who have had major problems with electrical problems with motorhomes and water ingress problems and transmission problems and and caravans are the same. Um, the manufacturers of New Zealand caravans, um, I've read on their forums where they've had water ingress problems and showers leaking and yeah. So the, the list goes on. So it's not a Bailey specific problem. It's just that this is what we found with our caravan. And um, I just really hope that um, it can help someone else out um, to um, maybe find any problems um, that they may have uh, before things get too bad. So the new Bailey caravans have what they call the Alutex system, um, which is their new way of joining the walls of the caravan to the roof of the caravan with use, uh, sorry, using this um, this capping that goes over the top of both and then bolts together. Um, the advantages of that is it makes it incredibly strong um, and it gives it a nice overlap too like you'll see on the back here um, there's a good amount of overlap on each side um, and then it's, it's bolted through here about every 500 apart or something um, there's a bolt which is torqued up which pulls the the um, caravan together so some of the um, videos I've seen is that people were talking about um, a drainage channel on the bottom of this molding um, and when you take all of this molding off the bottom here you can actually see that the, the, um, the drainage channels in, in that in that molding um, but yeah so initially that's where I was looking um, for the for the problems um, it was in that tunnel boot there that we had the issue the other side was perfectly dry and the front um, was the same it was absolutely perfectly dry um, no high moisture readings at all actually in a previous video um, what I I did uh, I did a video where I pulled this molding here off and pulled the wheel tubs out of the caravan and resealed them all some people had a problem uh, with the Bailey caravans uh, where they hadn't sealed uh, the wheel tub properly when they installed it um, and water was running, it wasn't, it wasn't from water running um, um, driving it from underneath the, the tub it was water that was coming down the side of the caravan coming down here running in on top of your wheel arch and into the caravan that way um, so anyway, there, there's a separate video I did on that um, a couple of years ago, so uh, we'll put that in the description below anyway, so you can have a look at that. So that, that was that problem solved. Um, we did find that there wasn't, um, that the ceiling wasn't very good on those, so I'm glad I 
address that problem um, and we will never ever have an issue with water ingress in there. Okay, so what I found with this uh, latest problem we had um, was this moulding along here um, is basically a decorative strip. That, that's, that's its entire purpose apart from housing um, a couple of side, you know, a few side, four side lights on there. Um, it's basically a decorative strip. The problem they had is when they put that decorative strip on, they're actually doing more harm than good. Um, if the caravan didn't have that decorative strip along the bottom there, you'd have no problems with water ingress. Simple as that. Having that strip along the bottom there, that's the cause of the water ingress problems with the Bailey caravan. <laughs> it's that, that simple. And in this video, I'll delve into it a bit more and I'll show you exactly what we found. Okay, so in the last shot on the video here, I'll grab the camera and show you what I mean. You can see that that's the moulding right there that I'm talking about. This, this one here and the, there's the other moulding that clips into it. Um, so what's happening is there's no sealant along the top of here at all or behind here absolutely nothing the only sealant was in underneath the caravan right in that that section there so basically water can run down the side of the caravan behind this molding fill up because it can't go anywhere can't drain out um, and then it migrates up inside the van and onto the floor and I've done a little drawing I'll show you Okay, so you'll have to excuse my uh, my artistry. I'm not uh, famous for drawing. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, so this is the floor of the caravan here. And the wall of the caravan comes down and sits on top of the floor. And then there's a the out, outer part of the wall overlaps the floor and comes down underneath here, like that. Now the moulding that I'm talking about is this one here. It comes down and goes underneath the caravan. Uh, and then they had a screw going through here, holding it um, to the wall. The problem is, is that what, what they've done is that the way, look, because there's no sealant in here, and it's screwed down here, there was a gap here. So water can run down the inside of this here, down to the bottom. It can't run out here because they had a big blob of sealant right there sealing it where they had done it from this side. So water comes down here, can't go out. So it basically fills up here. And then if this isn't sealed properly, this section of wall, basically the water migrates up the inside of here and then your plywood floor sits in here and so it so starts soaking into the floor and then it'll just soak all the way across so that's effectively what's happening now also this section of the wall is stapled in here to the floor around about here and that's not sealed over either so if this fills up um, it can actually soak through where your staples are anyway um, so yeah, that's effectively what's happening and why there are problems with water ingress in these caravans. It's just coming straight up the inside of that overlap and then soaking into the floor from here. So it's really quite simple, but yeah, until you get your head around it and, and actually figure it out, you know, and actually 
pull the caravan apart to have a good look at it, um, you'd never know. Um, some some sections of our caravan were se this overlap was sealed really really well, and other parts weren't. And so, a few um, like because I pulled this moulding and everything off, when you climbed underneath the caravan, you could actually pull that that overlap or wall away from the floor. Um, and I'll see if I can put some footage in to show you what I mean. You can actually see there's a little bit of damp, a little bit of wet, just there. And see there's, there's the wall board. You can see it moving, alright? So we haven't had any problems at all. Of all the readings in here are absolutely dry, but you can see how water could get up there. So, um, so yeah, I'm glad I um, glad I'm doing this side as well, and I'll go around and do the all the other side of the caravan as well. But so I'll just seal between the floor and the wall where it overlaps and um, restaple it all the way along and then I'll refit this moulding on, silicone that and then clip on the moulding that goes over the top of it. Um, yeah. And we will never ever have any leaking problems. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do to sort out the problem is I'm going to clean this all up, I'm going to reseal uh, I'm, I'm going to dry out any uh, moisture in this section of the wall here, this overlap. Um, reseal it all and restaple it. Uh, and then I'm going to also put some sealant over the top of the staples so that there's no water can soak in there if ever we had a problem. I'm going to run a bead of silicon in here. Which went, went which, sorry... <laughs> which once this is attached to the caravan is going to squeeze out the top so that I know that it's perfectly sealed in that section and I'm going to put some sealant in that corner there which will fill all that there in so again when this is attached to the caravan it's going to squeeze up from underneath and squeeze in from the wall here as well so that corner there where the problem area is will be completely sealed and then once that's all attached I'm going to climb under the caravan and put another piece of sealer there from this this side here so that basically there is no way any water is going to get in there and in actual fact because that corner is now nicely sealed with this piece here if this failed at some stage and water did get in it still wouldn't be able to migrate up the side there because I've got this big section of sealer here which was never there originally. So I think that will sort out any water ingress problems we're ever going to have with this caravan. Thank you.
So I hope that shed a bit of light on um, how water can get into your caravan or motorhome. Um, I'm 99.9% .9 sure now we have a totally waterproof caravan and um, we'll have it here to enjoy for many years to come. Um, in some ways I'm actually glad that it happened um, because it's given me a really good understanding of where the water ingress can come from um, and how to fix it. Um, so yeah, I'm really sure now that um, we're 100% sort of waterproof. Um, if you've got any questions that, um, or concerns, um, put them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to um, answer them. Um, yeah, but otherwise, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you in the next one. See ya. Rewa, watch out. Okay, don't watch out. Don't do as I say. Good girl. So obedient. <laughs> <laughs> Take 22. Take 700. And I have heard people, but yeah, so, <clears throat> bugger.